I recently took a trip to Tokyo Game Show 2022, marking my third time visiting a TGS. While there were a lot of things there I could talk about, such as a very cool Alone in the Dark display, or Sega's entire section, which was just plain awesome, one particular exhibit really made my day, that being Konami's Suikoden display. This area was, of course, promoting Konami's Suikoden 1 and 2 remaster, which was announced just a day before I went on September 16th. It featured a looping trailer of the games, along with some artwork that I believe were the originals, such as the heroes from both Suikoden 1 and 2, along with some other important characters from the games, such as 2's very memorable villain, Luca Blight. There was also a standee of the first game's hero, which was signed by series character designer Junko Kawano. Lastly, there was a collage of each game's 108 stars of destiny, which was very cool. In fact, you could get one of these little badges if you waited in line to play a dice game with Gaspar from Suikoden 1 or Shilo from Suikoden 2. I regret not doing this, but the line had an 80 minute wait and I just didn't have the time. Now, speaking of the remaster itself, it would be nice if it included Suikoden 3, since that game included a crossover save function from the second game, though what it adds is minimal in comparison to what carrying over one save file to two brought. It's hardly a big deal though, and I hope enough people buy this to make the PS2 entries being remastered a reality as well. Just the fact that we're getting this at all is great. As someone who's been a massive fan of Suikoden since the age of 12, this display was absolutely incredible to see, especially since the series had seemingly been ignored by Konami for a whole decade. I certainly had never seen anything like this in relation to these games in all my time in Japan. I'll admit it, I teared up a bit seeing all this, and I don't know how I would have reacted had I not seen news of the remasters unveiling the night before. Here's to hoping that Konami keeps us up. If you're a fan of Suikoden, you might want to subscribe, as I do occasionally cover the series, such as in my PlayStation Top 7 by Year videos. That said, thanks for watching The Legend of Games.